Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me a Realme Pad Mini and in this video I am going to talk about the possibilities of using this tablet for study purposes. Okay, so guys you can use it for study but there are some limitations. So I will show you how. So first of all is uh, the note taking. Okay, so I will use uh, this uh, app. Name of the app is Touch Notes okay and then i select this plus icon i select a uh, new infinite note option and then i start taking notes okay so the first limitation is the handwriting tool so for example i select this pen and i start to write okay so you can see over here sometime it got miss okay so you can see over here okay so you can see this the basic reason is it does not support the palm rejection okay so if i rest my hand on this tablet and i try to write i cannot write it okay and also if i rest my hand you can see there are spots on the tablet if i rest my hand on the tablet so that is the main limitation uh, on this tablet that you cannot use it properly for the handwriting okay so you can see if i try to write it will write but there are some limitations the next tool that i'm going to talk about is the highlighter tool so highlighter tool is working perfectly fine okay so you can highlight anything okay uh, the next thing is if you want to use this shape tool okay so for example i select this shape tool i can create any kind of shape okay so you can see the shape tool is working perfectly fine okay so you can see over here if you want to use the text tool which is most important if you want to put any kind of text the text is also working perfectly fine okay so you can see over here okay so these are the things that you can uh, do for your note taking the next thing that i want to mention is you can do the pdf annotations okay for the pdf annotation i use this app zodo so I will open the app here I have this PDF so if I want to annotate it there is annotation tool if I want to highlight so I just select it and then I can simply highlight it okay and then I can also underline any of the text okay so you can see the underline is working perfectly fine the text tool is also working fine over here okay the main thing is the handwriting tool so again handwriting tool has limitations okay so if i try to uh, write okay sometime it got missed and i cannot put my hand and then i cannot write it so these are the limitation in the pdf annotation but you can do the basic pdf annotation the next thing is the reading mode so guys this tablet is best for reading mode because it has the reading mode tool okay so here is the reading mode tool so if you select it everything become black and white in the tablet okay so whatever uh, notes you have whatever you have you can read it if you have a book you have an ebook you can easily read it for longer hours it also has the eye comfort tool okay so you can select this eye comfort tool as well so the color will become changed so this will also helpful for longer hours of studies guys you can also use this tablet for multitasking for example uh, you can read a book or you can take note and uh, on the side you can open one more app so what you have to do you have to go to the recent then here is this split screen option just select it and then here you can select any other app for example i select this chrome so you can see you have two apps side by side in the a uh, multitasking mode you can work on both of these so here you can um, uh, watch your lecture on one side and you can read as well on the other side so these are the things that you can do in this tablet so the other thing is you can also uh, screen record whatever you want to record you can use this screen record tool so here is the screen recorder you can have a record audio with microphone it will also give you the option of show touches on the screen and you can start recording okay so here is the countdown so now the recording is started so whatever you have in your tablet you can record if you are taking your lecture you can also record it uh, after uh, you finish the record it will save automatically 
so you just have to tap here to stop it and then it will save automatically on your tablet you can uh, search it on your gallery so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much